What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I wanted to bring you guys a quick Forbidden and Limited List video. Uh, this is probably the smallest ban list that we have ever received uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. For as long as I've been playing, um, it's not yet on the, uh, I guess, American side of the Yu-Gi-Oh! website, but it is here up on the European website, and that the next update after this will be no earlier than September 1st, 2020, and they do their months and days backwards, so it says effective from 1506, 2020. It just, in American terms, it's effective from 06, 15, 2020. So June 15th, 2020 is when this will go into effect. Next update after this will be no earlier than September 1st, so this list is going to be all the way through, uh, what, July, August, and then uh, like basically beginning of September. So it's going to be another three-month list, um, but it, it essentially has no changes. Uh, there are no banned cards. And at first when I was looking through this, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe this is fake. I even saw in Zodiac Duels where a guy had posted a link to the ban list. I'm like, oh, this guy's trolling. I went to the American website, and I was like, yeah, it's not here. So I reported the post, and I realized, oh, wait, it is actually up. It's on the European side. So no banned cards. No limited cards. Everything is literally the same. I'm looking through here again just to make sure I didn't miss anything, and I haven't. And you get down to the bottom, and there's three cards. Multifaker, Necroz of Unicor, and Ritual Beast Ulti Kanahawk are all back at three. That's literally the only change that we're getting on the ban list. And people were saying, oh, Block Dragon needs to be banned. This needs to be hit. And I called it. I really did. I didn't think that they were going to change much because I thought that either A, they were going to make very little changes, or B, they were going to make no changes. Because, again, Konami would have to acknowledge the existence of third-party online sites. And I, a part of me just really, I can't explain it, but just a part of me feels like they would not want to acknowledge the existence of those things. It just doesn't make any sense. So we have Multifaker, Unicor, and Ulti Canahawk coming back to three. I really wish that maybe Engage would have came back to one, <laughs> or multi roll to two, uh, or Hornet Drones to two, just because I've been playing the shit out of Sky Strikers lately. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, at least Mystic Mind didn't get hit, so I'm happy about that. Mystic Mind is still at three. Extrav is still at three. Um, I think Alter Geist are back at full power now. So if y'all want to pick up your Alter Geist and play Alter Geist to full power, go right ahead. I'm not looking forward to that matchup anytime soon. And uh, Necroz, I think, is now at full power. And the same thing with Ritual Beast. I think there, I think all three of these decks are back at full power. Um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Bit of a short video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to scroll back through here one more time for you guys just to show that I'm not missing anything. Unless I'm completely misreading the European ban list, I'm not seeing anything under remarks. Everything is still the same. The remarks are completely blank. We'll scroll through one more time. Can we get a fourth time, folks? And there's no changes. Just three cards. Multifaker, Unicorn, Canahawk all went from one to three. So thank you guys for watching as always, and enjoy your Elder Lich and Blood Dragon Online format. Remote Duel still looking spicy, ain't it? No, it's not. That shit's going to be god-awful. Thank you guys for watching, and Konami, reopen shit. Because this ban list, this isn't a ban list. This is a, hey, you're in quarantine. Let's give you some more shit to play with. <laughs>